Hello everyone, Eddie Zamora of the Yum Yum Foodie here and I am cooking at home. That's right, this is the inside of my house. No camera crew, no audio, just me, my phone. So bear with me because I'm doing this for the first time on my own, but I did want to show you because we are in uncertain times and I am cooking a lot from home. And I don't know about you, but I am trying to stretch every meal as much as possible. I'm trying to stretch every dollar as much as possible, but at the same time, I want as much variety as possible. I know, call me human. I want to try and eat a lot of different things. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to cook one time, but you're going to get to eat three times. That's right. Cook once, eat thrice. And what am I using as my protein? I'm using this beautiful pork loin. Now, why am I using the pork loin? First off, pork is a ton of flavor. Secondly, I'm Latino and I love lechon. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. And then thirdly, guess what? I got a three pound pork loin at the local supermarket for $7.50. That's right, $7.50, and I was able to pick up a three pound pork loin, and I'm gonna be able to eat three times, which is great. Now, this is whether you're cooking for one person or cooking for six people, I'm gonna give you three very different dishes that I'm gonna use with this pork loin as my base. The first thing I'm gonna make, which is gonna be in this video, is a coffee rubbed roasted pork loin, and it's Cuban coffee, of course, because yo soy cubano, that's what it's gonna be. So, let's get started. Okay, now it's time to season our pork loin. I flipped it upside down, so I put the fat side on the bottom, and this is just for seasoning. I wanna season the bottom first, then I'm gonna flip it, season the top. That way I only have to flip it one time, and most of my seasoning stays on. You know, the more you move it, the more stuff is gonna shake off of your pork loin. I patted it dry, and here is what I'm using for my rub before I put it in the oven. We got dark brown sugar, Cuban coffee, of course, Guiji, uh, kosher salt, smoked paprika, and black pepper. Really simple, all ingredients I had in my pantry. So what I'm gonna do is start off by getting as much of this on here as possible. And you say, why are you cooking with coffee? What, what is it? Well, first of all, coffee has got an earthy flavor to it, and I just think it works really well with fat, uh, the fat content inside the pork. So I've done a nice job rubbing this guy here. Get it on every little surface. So give it a nice little coating. Then I'm gonna flip her. See, so now we have the fat on top. And I'm gonna do the same thing. As you can see, a bunch of seasoning did come off, but if I'm flipping it multiple times, well then obviously more seasoning is gonna come off. Here we go, I'm maximizing what I have. And of course, I'm not gonna go sparingly with this. I want flavor, I wanna get all of that smokiness from the smoked paprika in just about every bite of the dish, ready to go. And don't worry if you don't have a, uh, a mesh pan like this that's gonna let the drippings come off because what you're gonna do is if you don't have this, that's fine, just midway through the cooking process, you're gonna wanna flip it, okay? So just be a little different than this, you're gonna wanna cook it on both sides when you're in the oven. Now, last but not least, this beautiful loin is gonna go in the oven for about an hour at 350 degrees or until the interner, in, interner, internal temperature gets to 145. And uh, that's when I use my trusty thermometer. If you don't have one, that is one thing I strongly suggest any foodie out there needs to have. But now it is time for this one to go in the oven. I will see you in an hour. And there she is, out of the oven, my coffee rub roasted pork loin. I let it rest just like a steak. So it actually took a little bit longer than an hour. It was about an hour and 20 minutes to get that internal temperature to 145 the way that I want it. Let it rest like a steak so when you slice open, the juices don't go everywhere, it doesn't dry out. And now it is time to slice and serve. And voila, there she is, the final dish. As you can see, look at that crust. Yeah, the sugar caramelized with the coffee. Of course, siendo cubano, black beans and rice. And in my next dish, which I am gonna, again, use this pork, or the leftover of this pork, I'm also gonna use some of my black beans as well. And you'll see, for the next three dishes that I post, I spent less than $15 for everything. So, cook once, eat thrice. Uh, guys, I gotta go, because I'm by myself, and nobody's gonna turn off the camera but me, and I wanna start eating, and so, yeah, I gotta go.